What is up guys? I hope you are doing good. Let me pause this. I've got, uh, I've got quite an interesting situation that I've been noticing. This I believe is like my fourth, fourth laptop that I've fixed in the same fashion. So as you can see, I've got a battery plugged in over there. I've got a charger coming from the TC power supply. The top is off, it's not running. And it is drawing 1.17 amps right over there. So the laptop is charging, which is what I was supposed to fix. A laptop that is not charging. So I'm going to do something interesting and then we will see the result of that. So I'm sure you can see these two jumper wires over here. Yeah, I'm going to take them off and then we can see the result of that. Okay, there we go. Number one and number two. Of course, when I'm done, I'm not gonna leave these jumpers hanging like this. This is just to prove if my theory is correct. So I've removed those two jumper wires. I will do the same thing that I've done, like a battery, like a charger. Okay, so laptop is still not coming on because there's a CMOS battery and the battery is plugged in, so it's not gonna automatically come power on. I look at the power supply. It's now drawing zero zero. It won't power on. Laptop simply won't work. So the situation is like this: the laptop works from a charger. So if I switch it on, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out the battery so that it automatically powers on because I don't have a power button here. So you can see I've removed the battery. Oh, sorry about that. You can see I've removed the battery and I've removed the CMOS as well. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug a charger. And look at that. The laptop works. So the laptop works perfectly fine on the charger. Right? Fully on, it's going to display and everything. Work fine. So 100% working with a charger. And with a charged battery, the laptop works 100%. So it's working fine with a charger, it's working fine with the battery, but it's not charging the battery. That's the situation which is here. So that is the same situation with this. Uh, where are you hiding? This Asus motherboard. Yeah. This Asus motherboard also was not, uh, it was not working. It was not charging the battery. It would work with the battery. It would work with the charger. But if you put the two together, the laptop simply misbehaves. So what I've noticed is this. I'm going to try to... I'm gonna try to record the screen on the desktop there. I hope I have enough storage for that. I have a tendency of loading my PC with useless things. Okay, uh, episode 9, so I'm gonna go all the way to episode 8. Delete. Yes. Cool, so I believe I have enough storage now. Yeah, 15 gig should work should suffice all right so okay cool so here's the here's the schematic diagram for this particular motherboard so if you look at this this motherboard is using pq24780s that's the same ic which is being used by this motherboard by pretty much most of the laptops majority of the laptops which were done back then that have got you know the uh, the typical MOSFET MOSFET resistor. They were using this PQI scene. so they can use different models. But then most of them they were using PQ two four seven eight zero S. Anyways, so what what is happening with this PQI There's a there's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you what to expect with this PQI Yeah, you know it will tell you. Uh, you need to have AC coming in, 19 volts coming by VCC over there. You would need to have uh, 6 volts being generated by region over here. You're going to need AC OK. You know, most of the yeah, most of the videos, they'll just explain to you what's necessary for this chip to fully function. But in this case, this is what I've been noticing. Pin number 1 and pin number 2, these two pins, they basically... They basically go from 
from here from the PQIC they come to the to the current sense resistor yeah so from the charger from the charger we've got a fuse here's a charging port so let me try to make it clear over there so we've got a fuse fuse MOSFET MOSFET resistor yeah that's the normal normal setup fuse MOSFET MOSFET resistor or inductor MOSFET MOSFET resistor so right to this resistor you're supposed to have pin number one coming to the output and pin number two coming to the input of uh, of this resistor so pin number one of the PQIC is coming to the output and pin number two of the PQIC is coming to the input you're supposed to have a direct shot there so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to measure if we've got a direct line from there to there so my pin number one is right over here so that will be my pin number one over here so I can measure it from so the main the main thing that you need you just need to check is this you have this position where you have got cap cap capacitor capacitor and another one which is across the two so if i grab this motherboard here uh here if i grab this motherboard over here you can see there right over here we've got cap cap and another one across if i grab this other motherboard this one you can still see the same situation cap cap and another cap across the two so this is what's happening with these caps these two they have got ground on one on one end but on the other end they've got positive and these two positives they are one this one is to here then to pin number two and this one is coming to this then pin number one so what happens is that if you try to measure continuity across this cap these are very big probes if you measure continuity there you're supposed to get a buzz like this yeah the the voltage drop between the two will be like 0 0.4 like 0. Point, yeah it's not exactly 0, 0, 0 but it'll be close very close to zero so you should get a buzz like this but if we check across this one and focusing on this is very hard okay there we go you can hear there's no buzz oh my was me sleeping there no buzz nothing whatsoever reason being the circuit which comes from here to the current sense resistor it some somewhat has got an issue so according to what i've noticed with uh with other motherboards before is that uh the current sense resistor itself we tend to just uh place it willy-nilly but it actually has got uh it's got like four pads underneath it it doesn't have two it has got four so i'm gonna try to open the board view of uh one asus laptop here and we will see that so right now I'm just soldering the uh, jumper wires so that I can test and make sure the laptop is charging. So pin number one goes to the output and pin number two goes to the input. Yeah. Just like I had uh, explained before. So remember what the current sense resistor does. The current sense resistor simply simply allows the PQIC to know how much current the motherboard is using. So if the PQIC doesn't know what is happening, how much uh, how much power the, the laptop is using, it simply stops functions, certain functions. Sometimes it doesn't charge. Sometimes it, it simply won't power on. It won't send uh, an enable signal to the to the to the two MOSFETs. So I've plugged the charger over there. I'm just waiting to see the result. You can see over there, laptop is now drawing 1.78 amps. And the reason why it's doing that is because now it's powering on. If you take a look there, you're gonna see the fan spinning. 
Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna spin now. Anyways, the fan is spinning because I took out the CMOS pattern, so it's automatically powering on. But you can see the laptop is now charging. Simply because I connected those two. So yeah, the case is that uh the laptop needs to know, the PQSE needs to know how much current uh how much current drop is between the current sense resistor so that it can it can be able to tell what what the laptop is using if it can't tell laptop simply won't charge so i was i was thinking i'm gonna grab i'm gonna view the board view of one of the one of the two one of the two motherboards that i've worked on before it was uh it was an asus motherboard that's dell tk that's dell it's a Lenovo, blah 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 blah. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. It's not um, this. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. So this is what I'm gonna do. If you take a look over here. So for this particular laptop, DC comes from. Uh, let me try. It. Let me try to have a look. No, no, no. I've opened the wrong motherboard here. Oh, it's X415. Wow, I just opened it. Completely wrong board view. Uh, Lenovo, Crescent. No, it's not here. It's not here. Let me open it from... Let me open it from board viewer x415 ea okay okay so from here let me record the screen so that you will be able to see clearly what I'm doing and what I'm showing. So here's the board view of this particular laptop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I got it the wrong, the wrong area. Okay, how do I know where to go now? Okay, here we go. So from here. Yes, this is the board view of the laptop. DC in comes from from over here. Let's see. Holding the motherboard like this. We've got a CPU, GPU. Our DC in comes from right over here. So our positive pin would be this V plus right over here. So from here we're supposed to go to our two MOSFETs, which are somewhere over here. And this we've got uh, yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've got two inductors here at the back. So I've got a, it actually shows a lot, but there's only two here on the motherboard. Then from here, we've got those two resistors, and then from there, it takes us to the two MOSFETs. Does it? Not yet. Okay, from over here, I believe. Okay, it takes us to the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and then our current sense resistor. So we've got PQ8901 as the first MOSFET coming in, coming out. PQ8902, that's the second MOSFET coming in and then coming out. And coming out of there, it comes to PRS8901. So that's the current sense resistor. But if you look at the current sense resistor here, we've got P number one and P number two. But if you look close here, just underneath, you've got these two. These two just down there so this one if i clip on that that one and we zoom out you see that it pops up somewhere around the pqic and there we go and that's that's where we got the cap cap and the uh, the another cap which is in between so like i had said you've got ground and ground on these caps you've got there are two positives that come to this capacity and then this one goes to pin number one and this one goes to pin number two so these two, these two signals just up on the on either side of this cap, they are just underneath the current sense resistor. 
So if you place your current sense resistor and it senses pin number one and pin number two and doesn't sense these two small ones, you don't have continuity between the current sense resistor and the PQIC. So the PQIC doesn't know how much current the laptop is using. Therefore, it shuts down charging of the battery. That's the whole idea. That's the whole issue that we're facing here. So as always, I hope you guys learned something and I will see you in another video. So it's all about continuity between the uh, the pads, the pin number one and pin number two here and the current sensor resistor so that the motherboard knows what current uh, it's, being, it's using from the charger. Yes, I hope you learned something. I'll see you in another video. Cheers, guys.